Okay, so in this video, we want to give an example of the quotient rule of differentiation. So we want to find the derivative with respect to x of the following quotient. So by the quotient rule, we first take the derivative of the numerator, 4x cubed, then times the denominator, x8 plus 3, then minus the numerator, times now the derivative of the denominator, 8x7 plus 0, 8x7. And of course we have to divide all of this by the denominator squared. So now we have the derivative, so we have our answer, but let's see if we can simplify it. The denominator is already fully simplified, so we simply have to work now on the numerator. Before we multiply things out, notice that there are some common pieces between the first and second terms, so we can factor before we multiply things out. So we have a 4 and an 8, we can factor a multiple of 4. Then we have an x cubed and an x7, we can factor a multiple of x cubed. Those are the only two common terms between the first and the second term, so we can write down what's left over. In the first term, we factored all of 4x cubed, so we're left with x8 plus 3. Then minus, we haven't factored anything from the x4 minus 1. We took away from 8 a 4, so we're left with a 2. And we took away from x7 and x cubed, so we're left with x4. Now that we've factored what we could, we can now here multiply things out and then regroup similar terms. So we have an x8, then minus x4 times 2x4 is minus 2x8, so we'll re we're left with minus x8. Then we have negative, negative 1, so positive 1 times 2x4, so positive 2x4, and we have the leftover plus 3. Now let's see if we can factor this remaining polynomial. Before we do, it's always easier when we have the highest power with a positive coefficient. So let's factor from this a multiple of negative 1. So this will give us positive x8, but then negative 2x4, negative 3. And now since we have a degree 8 polynomial, this may seem like it's going to be difficult to factor, but we can make a simple but very useful observation. Notice that x8 is simply the square of x4. So we have a constant term, an x4, and then an x4 squared. So what we really have here is a quadratic polynomial in the variable x4. So we can try and factor this using, if we can, the product sum trick. So can we find two numbers whose product is negative 3 and whose sum is negative 2? The answer, of course, is positive 1 and negative 3. So we will get x squared, uh, x4, sorry, plus 1 times x4 minus 3. And if you're not sure, you can verify by multiplying things out in your head. So x4 times x4 is x8, negative 3x4 plus x4, negative 2x4, negative 3. So this does work out. And if you look at the last term, we are again able to factor this out as we have a difference of squares. If you view x4 being x squared squared, and if you view 3 being the root of 3 squared. So we can factor once more. So 
So we will have x squared plus root 3 times x squared minus root 3. And again, we have a difference of squares. If we view square root of 3 as, well, what squared? What do we square to get root of 3? That is, of course, the fourth root of 3. So again, a difference of squares with x and fourth root of 3. So we will have x minus the fourth root of 3 times x plus the fourth root of 3. And this completes our simplification and factorization of the derivative, if you recall, of x4 minus 1 over x8 plus 3. And that's it.